Hi guys, how are you? Hope you're all doing well. I am here with my very first celebrity inspired makeup tutorial. I was a bit scared at first of doing one just because there are so many out there on YouTube, but I was cleaning up my room and I found a David Jones beauty book from last year, um, 2012, that had a picture of Miranda Kerr on the front and I thought that it was a perfect tutorial to do. I think it's great for um, spring, we're doing the big pop of like the bright fuchsia, um, but then I think you can pull it off sort of in summer and early autumn as well. And this look was done by, originally done by Napoleon Purtis. So originally all of the products were from the Napoleon Purtis line. Now I don't own all of the products that were used. I do own quite a few Napoleon Purtis products, but I didn't use all products from that brand in this tutorial. I decided to show you uh, a few different products just to branch out a bit. Um, For um, copyright reasons, I won't put the picture up of Miranda Kerr here in the video, but if you're interested in seeing what the picture is, then I will put it up on my blog. So if you're interested in seeing how I got this look, I'll just take my glasses off so you can see. If you're interested in seeing how I got this look, please keep watching. All right, I've already prepped my face. I've already put my um, serum and my moisturizer and my primer. As Napoleon says, not to prime is a crime. So I've done everything and now I am going to put my foundation on. Now in the tutorial, um, the original one, uh, Napoleon Purtis used two different foundations for Miranda Kerr. He used the, I'm just reading it on the site here, he used the um, off-duty tinted moisturizer and then later on used the um, Boudoir Mist Spray Foundation um, to set it and to make it sort of even. Basically, I, I'm not going to use two foundations. I'm just going to use one, mainly because I don't have those two foundations. I'm going to use my Rimmel London Match Perfection Light Perfecting Radiance Foundation in shade 100 Ivory. So it looks a little something like that. And I'm going to use that with my Real Techniques stippling brush. Sorry, I had to double check what that was called. I just put one and a bit pumps on the back of my hand. Just work it into my skin. Next up, I've got some concealer. This is the Instant Age Rewind Eraser Dark Circles Treatment Concealer from Maybelline. And I've got it in the shade Fair. Sorry, I had to double check. Um, I was trying to uh, decide whether or not I was going to go with Fair or the Brightening shade in the shops. And I forgot what I went for um, for a second. So I'll just twist that up and then... I like this foundation because I can use it on blemishes as well as um, under my eyes. So that's always a good thing if you can use it for a few different things. So I like to dab it on first and then use my finger to work it in. And then just for a little bit more coverage and also to set all the foundation and concealer, I am going to use my Natio or Natio um, Mineral Press Powder. And this is in the shade Medium Tan, which is a little bit too dark for me. But um, as long as I use it very sparingly, I think it's okay. Um, and I will use it with my powder brush from Real Techniques.
oh, I'm really bummed as I closed the, um, the compact, my nail got stuck and it ripped some of my nail polish off. Ah, oh well. It's not the end of the world. Anyway, next step. Alright, now we're on to eyes. Now, this wasn't a step that was in the tutorial. They didn't prime the eyes, but I always like to. And I'm going to use the Maybelline Color Tattoo Metal uh, in 70 Barely Branded. And I think this goes well with the look. And once again, I will use my finger just to warm it up. I've got Bella looking at me like a weirdo, but that's okay. She can look at me like a weirdo. And I did forget to mention that I've put that all the way up to the brow bone just because we will be using two different colors, or technically three different colors, but we're using two different light shades that I think will complement, um, well, that the Barely Branded will complement really well. So I've used it all the way up to the brow. Anyway, enough talking. The next color uh, that was used in the tutorial uh, was the Color Disc, which is their round eyeshadows uh, in the color Ultra Suede. Now I don't have that one so I'm going to substitute that for a color from my The Balm Shady Lady palette, the volume 2 um, and it is the color Devilish Danielle so it is this one in the corner here and I'll just use that with a flat shader brush And that's just going up to the crease. And then we're going to blend it out with a matte shade in just a second. Okay, now I actually have something from the original tutorial. We're going to use the Colour Disc um, eyeshadow in trench coat which is a matte taupe and this is going in the crease and I'm going to use that with the Real Techniques Deluxe Crease Brush. Tap off the excess So after you've done your crease, we're going to grab our original flat uh, shader brush, paddle brush, whatever you'd like to call it, and uh, flip it over. And the original tutorial uses the colour Skinny Dip, which is a sort of cream off-white colour as our brow highlight. Now I don't have that, so I am going to substitute that for another uh, colour from the Shady Lady palettes. This time this is from the volume 3 uh, which looks like this and I'm going to use Envious Erin which is this one here. This is probably a little bit more sparkly, frosty than the Skinny Dip but as long as you use a light hand it should be okay. I like to sort of blend it with my finger. Just because I've got a little bit of that um, barely branded still left over. Now we're going to line our eyes and in the tutorial they use the Onyx Factor eye pencil. I don't have that, I only have the Napoleon Purtis Onyx Coal pencil and I tried doing this tutorial and I didn't feel that the Coal pencil did a good enough job or recreated the look as well as this did. Um, so I'm going to use this instead. This is the uh, darkest Shadow Soft Matte Pencil from Makeup Store which is a nice soft uh, eyeshadow kind of pencil which can double as a liner and I'm going to use 
a, I don't know, smudgy brush from the, uh, I think it's a gloss, the gloss professional makeup brush line. So I'm going to take some of the product and using my super duper magnifying mirror because I absolutely need it. going to take this along my lash line and then very lightly underneath the lower lash line as well. Just about halfway. Okay, it's time to add mascara. Now in the tutorial they used both the long black, double black mascara and then they added the Freesia uh, faux lashes. Now I don't have either and I'm not going to add lashes. I instead am going to use the Benefit Bare Real mascara. So I am going to apply that and then I will be right back. Okay, mascara is done. Now it's time to do our brows and in the original tutorial they used the Pale Rider brow pencil. I don't have that one, I was given the dark brown one, I think it's called chocolate, yeah I don't remember, something to do with chocolate. Um, I'll write it down here if I remember. Um, so instead I will use an Avon Glimmer Stick brow pencil uh, this is in the blonde shade, sort of looks like this. I think this is the old packaging. I was given it not too long ago, brand new. Um, and yeah, I've really been liking it. So yeah, I will just do my brows. This is something very new to me. I haven't really done a lot of brow stuff before. So I'm very new to doing my brows. So please forgive me if it looks a bit strange or horrible. So please bear with me. Alright, brows are done. I sort of still suck at them. Anyway, we're on the home stretch. Cheeks. Um, they use a now discontinued blush duo. Um, so I went through and tried to find something similar and figured out that my beloved Essence multicolored blush in the shade Fashionista, which I've hit pan on, is very close the three colors in the middle are very close so uh, I guess I will use that on my cheeks and I'm using my Nude by Nature blush brush so I'm trying to just focus on the sort of bottom half rather than uh, rather than the sort of bright pink and the bronze if I get a bit of it, it doesn't matter Okay, now it's time for the lips, which are probably the big thing for this look. And here's the big surprise. I actually have the two products that were used for the lips. Um, the first product is the Divine Goddess Lipstick in Calypso, which is an absolutely gorgeous uh, fuchsia pink, sort of a deep fuchsia. And I'm going to apply it with a lip brush. This is one from Nude by Nature. I found it a lot easier to apply it with a lip brush. Yes. 
And then the last step is to take a bright fuchsia pink uh, lip liner and this is in the colour Hort Pink. This is from Napoleon Purtis. Uh, you can see that I've used it quite a bit here, that I've smudged it on the wood, on the, yeah, whatever it's called. So then you line your lips after that. So that is it for my Miranda Kerr and Napoleon Purtis inspired makeup tutorial. I hope you enjoyed that. This I would recommend to anyone who is a little bit scared of wearing that bright pop of colour. I honestly, I would have never thought I would have worn such a bright lipstick before until I went to a Napoleon Purtis makeover. And one of the girls said, why don't you try it? And I thought, eh, what, what the heck? Um, and, yeah, I was sort of dared to by one of my colleagues at the same time. She was like, come on, go ahead, you can do it. And I tried it and I loved it. And I've, it's sort of, Calypso has become one of my favourite lipsticks. Um, and I've gone from wearing this colour to wearing bright reds to wearing yeah other bright pinks and things like that so yeah if you're not afraid to step out of your comfort zone then I think this sort of look would be a great uh, stepping stone to um, just adding a little bit of a pop of color to uh, a neutral sort of look and essentially that's what the eyes are it's not too much color you're basically wearing cream and off-white and a bit of brown in the crease and then you're black. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed that. If you're interested in seeing any more celebrity inspired makeup tutorials from me, let me know. This was my very first one, so um, I might do some more. Who knows? Anyway, that is it from me. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, until next time, take care. Bye.